How's it going guys? It's Chris. Uh, just wanted to make a video since I haven't really uploaded anything lately. Um, about the uh, Motordyne Plenum Spacer. Pretty sure a lot of you wonder what the hell that is, but I might as well just make a video and show you guys what it is. Alright, just get my keys out of my back pocket here. I'll pop the hood. Alrighty. Oh, we got some water dripping here. Alrighty, so what is the plenum spacer? Uh, plenum spacer is this. Uh, this little part right here that goes in between the top and lower plenum. That is a Motordyne 516 plenum spacer. There is also a, also a half inch plenum spacer. Um, so pretty much, I know a lot of people are wondering what the hell that thing does. Pretty much, uh, the plenum spacer is just a, uh, spacer that just creates more, uh, volume inside the, uh, the plenum. Because these, uh, these engines, the way, uh, the way they're, uh, designed, the, uh, two front, um, uh, intake runners are, get the least amount of air. And, uh, pretty much they developed this, so, you know. You can gap the plenum a bit and uh, get some extra air in there. Um, there is a basic, uh, basic plenum spacer, which would be just the spacer and the bolts that you see here to put the uh, plenum. But I got the isothermal upgrade, which goes, uh, it's the plenum spacer. And then there's a, on the lower intake runners, on the lower manifold by the intake runners, there's, a, I believe in it's a ramid or something like that. A, a uh, gasket that pretty much uh, stops heat from coming up and creating heat soak. Pretty much that's the whole thing that this plenum spacer does is just stop heat soak. Heat soak being the uh, the engine before before having the plenum spacer uh, heats up. This part heats up the plenum, and all it all this does is um, it just takes air, puts it in. And since it, since this uh, plenum's already hot, hot air just goes in, and the engine gets hotter, and it just keeps recycling. It just gets hotter and hotter after every. If you were to you know just keep you know pounding on your car, it just uh, make the car even sluggish, more more sluggish after every run. Um, so pretty much that's what the plenum spacer does. And the isothermal upgrade is uh, this little upgrade they have for the coolant, because Nissan decided I guess it was a smart idea to. Uh, fucking heat up the throttle body with this coolant uh coolant line right here let me see where if, if i can find this little crap coolant line here mm, all right here we go uh pretty much this whole this whole throttle body right here nissan developed it so uh hot coolant can heat heat this up so it stops uh, so it will prevent prevent it from uh freezing in colder temperatures for other people that live in you know other uh, colder temperatures around the country or other other parts of the world so that was their way of designing this but in the term uh fucking it'll heat up this whole fucking part and you don't want that because it creates heat soap and it fucking slows your car down uh so pretty much what motor Dine did was uh they have two the isothermal and the copper copper spacer that goes in between the intake and the uh the throttle body the plenum and the throttle body but the isothermal is a little valve that you cut on this little hose right here. Let me see if I can get my camera in there. All right, you see this little hose right here that I'm, when I'm moving? This valve, you have to cut this hose and make enough space where you can fit this. And this, where my finger is at, is the uh, valve. It's closed right now. If it's, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, if it's pretty much sideways, it's closed. If you open it, You'd have to straighten it out, you know, perpendicular to the uh, to the uh, hose, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how the uh, plenum spacer works, and that's. Uh, I don't know if it really if it really gives you any power, but it definitely stops heat soak on the car and it prevents it from being really really sluggish. 
but yeah you guys uh hopefully this video helps you out and on what the motor dime plenum spacer does and how it works so pretty much that's it thanks